hi everybody today I'm coming to you from Eagle Point campground which is presently closed for the season just closed we uh, I already talked to the caretaker he's gonna let me take a walk through and give you a look at all the sites so, thanks everybody for showing up I hope that you find this video helpful let's go take a walk in the park Welcome everybody to Eagle Point Campground. Dump station, looks like a shower house. That's the caretaker's office. We're on the lookout for site number one. It's the recycling center. Hmm. Little place to clean up. Okay. My first number is site number one. It's right here next to the shower house and the recycle center. This one is number two. Lots of shade, very beautiful. Okay, site number three. And they're not the biggest sites and there is a road right up there. Not a lot of traffic. You do have a view of the pond. All right, now that's site 70. I don't know how that wound up here, but it's up that hill. I would call it a walk-in site. Days maybe, but we'll see. This is site number four. Big site, good one for an RV. This one would work. This is site number five. Seems like there's an abundance of picnic tables here. It's good. All right, this looks like it dead ends. Yeah, down there, it dead ends off. Okay, so that means we're going down this way. Boy, these are some beautiful sites. This is site number eight, right in front of me. Ah, these are pretty spots. All on the beautiful lake. Really nice fire pit. Wow. Oh. Isn't this an ideal spot? Oh, I only saw a number eight for this area, but there's got to be multiple sites here. Access to the lake right down there with a little sandy beach, we'll call it. Very pretty. There's a water spigot right here. Now right across the street is labeled site number 10. It's kind of a pull through. Yeah, it's tight, but it's a pull through. 10. I don't think there was an 11 on the map, if I remember correctly. So up here is site number 12. Is that a pretty one? Really nice trees. That's what the crow just said. So that was 12. Let's see if we have a lucky 13. Yes. On the right hand side in the blazing sun is site number 13. 
right up against the lake. Very pretty. And directly across the street is site number 14. A lot of room, lots of nice trees. No sign here. Oh, wait, do we have a sign? Yes, we do. This is site number 15. It's nice because it's tucked in the corner here. Very private. Very nice. Really nice fire pits. Beautiful. Okay. Very nice. That's 15 down. Let's keep it moving. Another water spigot right there. Okay, I don't see 18, but I do see 19. It's a cute little site up on a hill overlooking the lake. Very pretty. Probably not big enough for my trailer. But great tent site, nice and flat. Seems like they really take good care of this campground. Whoa, no sleepwalking. That's a drop. Okay, moving right along from 19. Hills are tough. All right, we came up the hill to see site number 20. Nice and flat, a little sandy. I like a sandy spot. It's nice on the feet. Very comfortable. Probably pump houses, water treatment. Okay, site number 21 and its parking spot. Another sandy spot. Number 22 is up on a hill overlooking the lake. This is very nice. You hit your exercise here, that's for sure. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Really pretty view through the trees. A little path down to the water. Okay, nice piece of free wood. Oh, this one's labeled number 23, up on a hill, not far from the shower house. Big spot, very big spot. Okay, this is site number 24. It's on the lakeside again, on a bit of a hill, sandy bottom. Nice picnic table and fire pit. Woods are getting thicker. Okay. All right, site number 26. Right here, nice and flat. Small site, yes, but not a bad one. Okay, right now, 27 is right across the street, right next to 23. This is site 27, right next to the recycle center. A couple of bricks are always nice to have on a campsite. Right next door is number 28, similar to the last one. Very nice, beautiful views of the lake through the trees. Very nice. Nice area to hang out. Very peaceful. All right, site number 30. Very nice. Picnic table and fire pit. Good size site. Looks like we had some artists here. 31 is directly across the street with a water spigot. A 
fire pit's a little bit beat up, but definitely workable. You're right up at the front of the campground here. All right, number 32. Another one right up by the front here on the lake, up high on the lake on a hill. Nice and wide open, pretty flat. Nice fire pit. Looks like a great site. Okay, site number 33. Again, right at the front of the campground, so this is not a private site. This is the one to be seen on. You're right in the middle of everything. Every camper that pulls in the door will be looking at your gear. So break out your best. Make it look good. Okay, this one is site number 34. It's got nice small gravel on it. It almost could be Americans with Disability compliant with that. I don't see the special table. And the fire pit is up high off the ground, so I'd call this an ADA compliant site every day of the week. Very good. Good job. Number 35. Again, right up front. Maybe just a bit more private than the last one with the eyes on it. You got a little bit of screen here, but not much. You're right up front. Okay. 34, 35. I'm going to have to hazard a guess and say 36. That's true, as right? does the sign. All right, site number 36. Again, beautiful view of the lake, a great fire pit. There is a sandy beach down there, and you can drive down there. Hey, that was site 36. Okay, let's keep it in order. This is site number 37 right up front on a little hill looking right at the caretaker's office a nice shaded site lots of beautiful trees to hang a hammock on very nice site number 37. i'm walking towards site number 38 right now another nice shady site on the lake beautiful views through the trees the picnic cables are outstanding here. They're all in beautiful shape. And this must be an ADA compliant site. Well, it's sort of anyway, it's getting better. That needs a second ring on it. Okay, we are walking up on site number 39. Let's get you a shot of the sign. And it looks like you enter from over here. Nice size site. Very nice barbecue pit. Okay, 39. This one, it's hiding on me. It's site number 40. Right across from the caretaker's office. Site number 40. Site number 41. A little sun, a little shade. Makes it perfect, doesn't it? Nice fire pit. Okay, site number 40. Oh, I'm sorry. That was site number 41. Water spigot right here next to site number 42. Very shady, level with the street. Again, right across from the caretaker's office. There's a little road here, looks like it goes down to the water. It's another hill I might not walk down. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, any more signs here? There's a sign. OK, 
Okay, site number 43. More typical DEC fire pit. And site number 43. Okay. I guess I'll call this one 44. I see 45 over there. Yeah, there's 44. It's hiding on me again. Okay, we are at site 44 at Eagle Point. Checking out the campsites. If you're going to be camping up here next season, you can use this video to choose a great site. Beautiful fire pit on site 44. Very nice. Not quite on the lake anymore here. Site number 45. I kind of like this site. Tucked back in the woods, you are right on the main road. But, still in all, a beautiful, beautiful site. Back in the woods. Overlooking what's probably a day use area downstairs. I don't know. I'm going to ask, I think. Okay, site number 45. Okay, we'll be right back. Thanks for watching today. I hope you make good use of this video uh, whilst booking your next campsite up in the Adirondacks. I have a whole list of campgrounds, especially DEC campgrounds, in my playlist, so go check them out. Okay, thanks to the lady at the front counter. She told me about this little set of stairs, which will bring me down to the lake where there are more campsites to be seen. Cool staircase. Okay, I'll be back when we get to the first campsite. Okay, we're at site number 46, but before I go any further, a big shout out, a thank you to the employees here at Eagle Point Campground. They've been so helpful. They're closed today. They did not have to let me in here, but they let me come in and have a look around. Very sweet. Thank you very much. Site number 46 is a beautiful site. Pine duff on the ground, beautiful trees, great fire pit, and again, two picnic tables. You gotta love that. And we're gonna get back up that hill and continue. Okay, just walked up the hill. So I'm huffing and puffing again. This is site number 48. And a beautiful site it is. It's on a bit of a hill. But I bet you can get a car down here. I know you're not gonna get a trailer down there. But it is a pretty site with a beautiful view. Very nice. And site number 49 is small, but beautiful. I mean, just what you need. Nice flat spot for the tent. You can get a small RV in here, I suppose. Certainly not mine. That was site number 49. That's site 50. Right next to the bathroom. Easy access. You probably get a little trailer on this one. A little tight, but it'll fit. Site number 50. This, right in front of us, is site number 51. Someone has moved the picnic table off site. But this is site number 51. Right here, again, small site, but you are right up against the lake. Got some beautiful geese flying by. Oh, not a bad place to be, right by the bathroom. If that's an important fact to you. Site number 52. Another beautiful site. Great shot of the lake. Yeah, these are really nice. Okay. Let's keep it rolling because this is site number 53. Give you a good wide look. Okay. This is site number 53 at Eagle Point Campground. 
in the beautiful Adirondack Mountains on a absolutely stunning Adirondack autumn day. This looks ADA compliant. Very nice. Nice flat area for a tent. Very, very nice site and water spigot right on site, which is always convenient. This park is presently closed and the staff here, the caretaker, was so nice, pleasant, and accommodating. It allowed us to come and visit. Site number 54. Let's get this nice high view. Look at this, beautiful. You tuck behind this little hill for some privacy. Get outstanding view of the lake. Watch out for rainy days on this one, maybe. Okay, site number 55, double nickels, double nickels. We got a water spigot right here. And another really beautiful site on the water. I believe we found our second gold star here. Let's look at this. This is outstanding. Beautiful fire pit, maybe ADA compliant. And look at the access to the beach you have. You think it'll get any better? I think it does. But I still get this one a gold star. All right, number 56 is a little out of order, but we'll, we'll put it in where it belongs. A nice fire pit, a wooded site. A little chipmunk just ran by. Right next to a beautiful rock wall. There's the fire pit. Beautiful rock wall. Just gotta love that. Okay, this one has no number. I'm not really sure. I'll try to label it from the map. It's a beautiful site. It's got access, access to the sandy beach. It's nice and flat. It's a beautiful site. Very private. Great views. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Okay, this is site number 58. Up on a little hill with a little wall. Very nice. Nice big site. A lot of room to stretch your wings. Beautiful view of the, the lake. Might even be better than some of the lakefront ones. Very nice. That was site number 58. Okay, this is site number 59. It's up on a hill. Am I seeing this right? Is that a platform? Wow, I haven't seen a platform in a DEC campground in a long time. Oh, isn't that make this a very special site? Platforms make camping really nice. Let's get you a good angle on it. Look at that. What would you say, 20 foot by 15, 20 foot? Very nice. Beautiful view of the lake. Really nice spot. This one might get a gold star. Hmm. 59. There's the sandy beach right there. That's a nice option. And water spigot right there. Okay, I'm going to give the camera a break here. We'll be right back. Okay, that's the end of the line. No more campsites down here. Look at this beautiful view of Shroon Lake. Oh, that is beautiful. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscription button in the corner. Give us a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel to grow. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thank you for watching. Okay, that puts us... This is site number 68. And a close contender for the last one for that gold star. Because it's basically the same site. Beautiful access to the sandy beach. Another what looks like an ADA compliant fire pit. And another beautiful view.
Site number 68. Outstanding. And this will be your extra car parking right next to the water spigot. So if you have more than two cars, you can park one here. You do have to pay for parking, which is a nominal day use fee. All right. Well, it looks like we've seen all the campsites. So here we are at the day use beach area. And look at this, a beautiful shady tree right on the sand. Look at this. This is just absolutely beautiful. I don't think I'm going to walk any more down, but on the right hand side you'll see they have rental canoes, kayaks ready to go, barbecue pits, and picnic tables. So if you're just passing by the area and you just want to take a break, drop a few dollars at the front counter, pay the day use fee, and come on in, have a little barbecue. It'd be a lot cheaper than going to a restaurant or a deli, right? Okay, so that's the day use area here at Eagle Point. I'm going to shut down here and I'm going to go see if there's anything else to see. And uh, again, I'll thank you very much for spending your time with me today. I know it's valuable, but I hopefully uh, make your time worthwhile here. Uh, next time you go to book a campsite in the Adirondacks, you can actually get a good bird's eye view of each campsite. Make your decision a lot more confidently. Alrighty. Thanks so much, everybody. Don't forget that thumbs up. Hit that subscription button. Leave me a message. Just say hello so I know that you are here. Okay. That's all, folks. Thanks again, everybody at New York State Department of Environmental Conservation for all your hard work. You don't get enough thanks. Whew, those hills are killing me. Hi everybody, today I'm coming to you from Eagle Point Campground, which is presently closed for the season, just closed. We, uh, I already talked to the caretaker, he's going to let me take a walk through and give you a look at all the sites. So, thanks everybody for showing up. I hope that you find this video helpful. Let's go take a walk in the park.